Okay, so before this episode starts, I just wanted to let you guys know who won the copy of my brother's book. And uh, we selected randomly, and David Cummings, you won the book. Don't worry, you're still gonna be a badass. Um, make sure you go to our website and the contact us page and fill out the form and make sure you give us your address so that we can actually send it to you. Thanks everybody for commenting and for supporting my brother. I really appreciate it. Now onto the episode. Are you actually filming? Yeah. Is it recording? Yeah. It didn't look like you pushed the button. Oh, I gotta uh, check my work. Because <laughs> it didn't look like you pushed the button. You're bossy. Okay. This week on Sealing with the Litzenbergers. That was not smart on my part that we didn't do that. So we're gonna do a little uh, interior upgrade tour for Tarka. This is your warning. This video contains content that might not be appropriate for all audiences. Hey Fry, so I know that last week we did an interior uh, upgrades and a lot of you commented that you wanted to actually see a tour of them and that was not smart on my part that we didn't do that. So uh, the episode that was gonna be this week will be next week and I wanna show you guys how it all turned out. So we're gonna do a little uh, interior upgrade tour for Tarka. Um, I will say that after living in Tarka for, I guess it's been seven, eight months now, but Tarka is the best laid out boat that we've ever had and I really don't know why more boats aren't laid out like this. Um, the fact that the bedroom is not in the V-berth and it's off to the side and there's a workshop and I know that it's a bigger boat, but there's no reason that smaller boats couldn't be laid out this way as well. So anyways, come see the bedroom. Ta-da! So in here, the upgrades that we made was a new mattress, which you guys saw us try and cut, and it worked out really well. And then we got all new bedding, and then we got a little plant, aloe vera plant, and a candle. And just for those of you that are gonna freak out that we have candles board, we don't light them when we're underway. They're secured, so they don't move when we are underway. We like to collect artwork when we're traveling, but we don't like to have big pieces. We have the one big piece that Spencer bought in Antigua, um, but other than that, we just like to do little things so that we don't have a bunch of stuff on the boat. So we put the little frames up above the bed that we can put little things that we find that we really like and we can change them out pretty easily too. I put up my little writing thing over here, my little writing paper for in the middle of the night when I get ideas <laughs> that, uh, aren't so great in the morning usually, but there's still ideas that need to be written down. <laughs> I like how it looks like toilet paper back there. It kind of does look like toilet paper, but so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so now it's super cozy in here. I'm really excited about it. It just feels a little bit more like home, which is kind of the goal of the little upgrades that we did. Okay, let's go into the hangout area. You need a cooler name for it. Let's go into the... Den. Den. <laughs> Dan dog. Hey, give me that. Hey, 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 no, give me that back. I will stop filming. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so when you come out of the bedroom, you come into this area. Originally in Tarka, there was bunks here. So there was a bunk so you could sleep two people, two crew. Um, Joe, the previous owner, she very smartly decided that they would never have that many people on board. And so they turned this into the hangout kind of area. Spencer and I had never used this as the hangout area before, even when like we first bought the boat. Then we added like our little plant that is not doing well. <laughs> I'm really not happy with my uh, parenting at this point. But we added some pillows in here to make the angle of the backs a little bit easier on us. And then we added the TV, which I know some of you are gonna be like, you teen, live in the moment. Fuck that, we live on board 100% of the time. And so we wanted a TV, and this is actually one of the only times we've had a TV in our life. We had one in the yurt, and now we have one on Tarka. And it's been awesome. But yeah, now that we've kind of changed this space, we hang out here all the time. And it's a really nice little spot because we get a ton of airflow from the hatch in the shop, and then it moves 
aft and so this area always stays really cool okay so this is sometime in the future from when you guys last saw us in our videos so um we are at a dock currently doing some major repairs which you'll see eventually um so we did get an air conditioning unit just try to ignore it <laughs> Um, the upgrades that we did in the kitchen weren't really upgrades. We just kind of made it a little more, uh, pretty. So we added, you know, like towels that I liked, a rug, the tea kettle, and then, uh, like a soap dispenser. And then also this is, this does have utility to it. We got a little sponge holder, um, because the sponge was always in the dishes, like under them when it was gross. So that was an upgrade. Um, yeah, I really like it. It just makes it a little bit nicer, and it's nice to have a rug on the hardwood floor. It also prevents the hardwood floor from getting, like, water on it and water intrusion, mm -hmm. so. Oh, of course, the table that Spencer redid, and it looks so, so nice. This part's still in the process of repair. Yeah. Don't this focus on that. Still, yeah. Yes. And uh, the nav table, uh, I didn't do a lot of uh, upgrading or like decorating there. We, I just kind of organized it a little better. Besides like the bedroom, the little den, and then the kitchen, uh, I didn't do anything to the crew cord or the crew cabin, but I did do something to the bathroom or the head that we always use so I'll show you that just ignore the crew cabin for now <laughs> it's really messy <laughs> all the shit that's usually out there we put in here so that it would look clean are we just showing a toilet paper holder what are you just showing a toilet paper holder it's a sweet toilet paper holder <laughs> it took a long time to find it <laughs> okay <laughs> but no everything else in here okay okay so this, uh, both heads in Tarka have this, um, what do you even call this? this are you talking about the Formica? I don't know. It's a Formica? Really ugly ass liner? Yeah, it's the whole, the walls, the cabinets, everything is in this liner that's like a red with a gold and patinaed marbling. Not my favorite thing. <laughs> However, it is never coming off because I don't even know how you would go about doing that. So I'm trying to work with it. Um, I basically have decided that everything in the bathrooms then will be super white so that it just makes everything brighter because with, if it's a different color, it just is really dark and dank and kind of gross. So um, I put everything in here is white and kind of brighter. And then the really cool thing about um, like I got a trash can for all of our toilet paper because none of it goes in the head. Um, the nice thing is there's a cutout in this door and it actually works perfectly with the trash can because then you can open the door and close the door and the trash can stays out of the way, which is kind of handy. Um, and then basically all the other upgrades are just like towels and the toilet paper holder I am very proud of because it took a long time to find one that had a shelf that you could put like baby wipes or anything else on top of. So I'm actually very proud of that. And it's aluminum. I think um, the word you're looking for is interior design, not aesthetic. I did a lot of interior design renovations. Why did you tell me that at the end of the video? I just thought about it. <laughs> cool. So that's basically a tour of all the interior design upgrades that we made this last week. Uh, I'm sorry that I didn't show you last time. <laughs> Spencer and I are super excited about Tarka being our home because as you guys know we have had seven other boats and this is the first one that we knew we were going to keep. So other boats we've never ever made an effort to make it a home. We just did the upgrades that we needed to get the boat going and get the boat sailing and just kind of worried about the rest of the stuff never. So it's been really cool to make Tarka a home for us and to make it feel like we are living in her full time. Um, it doesn't feel temporary, which is a totally new thing for us and we're really loving it. And Tarka is laid out for living in, so it makes it a lot easier as opposed to some of our other boats. 
but yeah we're really excited about it and i'm really glad to bring you guys all along and i hope you enjoyed all the interior design upgrades you can uh let me know how you liked them in the comments below thanks for watching fries see you next week Thanks for watching, Fries. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you get notifications every time we upload a video, which is every Friday. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come. Okay, okay, okay! When you go into gear, this whole fucking thing goes raw, 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 and tries to jump off. When you turn, when you put it in gear, it looks like the motor wanted to jump off the mouse. I feel like the scene is all too familiar in our videos. I think you just change the channel. <laughs> to I told you, broken bro. <laughs>